People say love is blind. These couples clearly prove that statement is literally true. For some people, these things do not matter because the most important thing for them is the love they feel toward their better half. These couples don't care how their spouse looks or if they have any flaws. They love them for their inner beauty. So here are top 10 most odd and unbelievable couple that prove love is blind. Before we begin make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. Bayou Cumbera and Jennifer Brocklehurst Indonesian University student Bayou Cumbera and his marriage to Jennifer Brocklehurst, a Briton, prove the endless possibilities when it comes to love. The couple, who the online world dubbed as Beauty and the Beast, supposedly met in January of 2014. Bayou was an anthropology student from Andalus University, while Jennifer was just visiting Sumatra. They fell in love eventually, and soon enough, they decided to tie the knot. They finally got married in August of 2015. Bayou and Jennifer proved that their love was more than their physical attributes. Despite of criticisms around them, they both proved the flaming love that they felt for each other. They have proven that nothing can hinder their relationship and prove to the world that love wins against all odds. Erif Ibrahim and Amina at just under three and a half foot tall, Erif Ibrahim Tamp had resigned himself to life alone. But the 32-year-old, who grew up against a backdrop of extreme size prejudice, has finally found love with a woman almost two foot taller than him. He said, I feel like God took something away and now he has given something back. I have got a reason to live my life. God has given me what I wished for. His new wife Amina Ram 21 year old even agreed to marry him despite the threat of being disowned by her family and they have now taken their relationship to new heights by having their first child together. The couple met in a mobile phone shop three years ago and both say it was love at first sight. And with their newfound confidence the couple are more comfortable to be seen out in public together. Hamdan Hashim and Nahideya Hassan Typically, people look forward to a sweet and happy married life. However, for Hamdan Hashem 30-year-old and Nahideya Hassan 29-year-old their three years of marriage has been met with some pretty tough times. But that suddenly changed one day when Hamdan developed pain in his eyes while working at a clothing factory store. He was hurting and his wife rushed him to the clinic for treatment. The doctor prescribed him eye medication and pills to relieve his pain. After the doctor prescribed him antibiotics, his condition worsened and his skin appeared as though he had been scalded. He was admitted to the IQ for a month. Hidea was sad, but she stayed strong for her husband. Hamden was diagnosed with a rare serious disorder known as Stevens-Johnson syndrome. The disorder also affected Hamden's vision and he is now partially blind. His right eye cannot be saved, as there is a thin film membrane covering his eye. Hidea said she received many negative comments on her husband's appearance. Some even told her to divorce her husband, but she said she loves him with all her heart and will take care of him for a lifetime. Hilded and Kedgerizen A girl become famous and heart of every young man because of its gorgeous beauty look. She shocked every young man who were diehard fan of her that why she got married to such an old man she is a film artist. Now she has became a wife of an old man. They changed their religion also and put their name as Kajasan. Kedgerizan married with an old man because she fall in love with him more than he loved her. She also said that she is very happy with her old age husband. They were very happy in their married life and don't want to work in adult film again. Hilded also loved his wife so much. They become a unique couple of nowaday. They are living together after marriage just like perfect couple. Teen couple in China. The two teens, who were first reported to be a 13-year-old groom and a 16-year-old bride have made clarification online that they both reached 16 years old and their marriage has won the blessing and support of their parents. Despite the legal marriageable age in China, being 22 for males and 20. For females. The couple, from a small town in South China's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region, claimed to have known each other for over a year. 
both have dropped out of school. Aside from clarifying their rages in the online statement, the two also refuted netism speculation that the marriage is due to the bride's pregnancy. The groom said we fell in love, and with our family's support we held this wedding. We just wait to get to a marriageable age. Miguel Restrepo and Mariah Garcia. A former drug addict in Colombia has carved out a place for himself in the murky underworld of Medellin. Miguel Restrepo has lived in an abandoned sewer with his wife and their pet dog for the past 22 years and though it may not look like much to some, they have done extensive renovations to make the space inhabitable. During their time there Miguel and his wife Mariah Garcia have installed a stove a fan and a bed. They even have a television for entertainment. Restrepo and Garcia are homeless and they live in the sewer in spite of the fact that at any moment, the local government could force them out of the area because it is city property. That said, the space proves enough for the couple and their dog. Jos Manuel Rila and Martina Lopez. A rolled man Jos Manuel Rila 103 year old promised his eternal love to Martina Lopez, his 99 year old bride, who wore a long white dress. The wedding was held in the couple's garden, where an altar had been set up. The ceremony was attended by many of their eight children, 50 grandchildren, 35 great-grandchildren and 20 great-great-grandchildren. The priest said they were the oldest Nilai Watsi had ever known he too had already got married in a civil wedding 49 years into their relationship, but had not gone through a religious ceremony at the time. Ms. Lopez said she felt very emotional at having her relationship blessed by the priest. The family said the vows were followed by an entertaining party at the couple's home in Santa Rosa de Aguare. Oddball couple. Here is one oddball couple, where the girl is pretty and the guy is what people considered too ugly for her. Lin Mainguian wanted to stop the stereotyping and shared photos of herself together with her boyfriend. Her fans and followers were shocked and enraged upon seeing her backquote underserving lover. According to netizens, she backquote lowered herself by having a boyfriend like him and that she deserves better than that. But her reaction to their rage and insults was rather surprising for some. She immediately defended her boyfriend, claiming he is the best there is. Her boyfriend wasn't exactly good looking, but she claims she loves him all the more. She didn't care about what others said, because he was the most handsome man for her. Thom Miller and Reba. A polyamorous pastor with two sister wives has become a father for the twelfth time, after his 20-year-old bride gave birth to a baby girl. Reba Miller who married Thom Miller with his 44-year-old wife Belinda's permission, gave birth to her first child named Catherine Angelica two months ago. Now the devoted women and Thom. 61 year old a devout Christian, planned to raise the baby jointly, with Reba calling herself mom and Belinda calling herself mama. Thumb, said, Catherine has added to the family, she completes us. We're all closer, and she will be brought up with three times the love. More added we have the right to have a child and we all three have the right to love her, and be a family. Veron and Apatrian Jun. We have always dreamed of meeting our very own prince or princess charming, someone who would sweep us off our feet, but it's not as easy as one would imagine of course. But for Verananda Patri a 29 year old Indonesian, she met her prince charming, when she least expected it, when she went to South Korea to learn the Korean language. She was infected with the K-wave, when she watched Running Man, and decided to travel to Seoul to take Korean language classes at Seoul National University in mid-2015. She met her future husband, Jun, a graphic designer at the end of 2016, and their love started to blossom. Vera never thought that she would end up marrying Jun, as they were from different religious backgrounds. She was also teased by her followers when she shared photos of her relationship on her social media accounts. Vera decided to bring Jun over to meet her family in Jakarta where he officially proposed to her, and they held a betrothal ceremony according to Indonesian customs. The happy couple solemnized their union on 28 February 2017 in a rather unique ceremony which incorporated both men and South Korean customs. If you like my video, don't forget like and subscribe my channel, let us comments below.